We all know the University of Texas system has some of the best universities in the nation. But did you know the UT system also includes some of the best hospitals and medical schools in the world? UT has actually been in the healthcare business for more than 100 years. We are known for being an academic system, but we are also a very large health system. On an average day, more than 1,600 people receive inpatient care in hospitals owned and operated by UT Health Institutions. And our 4,000 faculty physicians and residents in training provide care to 2 million patients in clinics operated by UT and our affiliated partners across Texas. In fact, more than half of our revenue comes from the clinical side. Chances are, your healthcare providers are UT alum. We educate approximately two-thirds of all healthcare professionals in Texas. We also employ many of them. Approximately eight out of 10 UT system employees are doctors, nurses, clinicians, or others involved in healthcare education, research, or patient care. Each of our six academic health institutions has a unique history and specialties that have been advancing medical care in Texas for decades. The UT Medical Branch in Galveston was the first combined public medical school and hospital in the nation. UTMB was founded in 1891 and has been training doctors and treating patients ever since. The University of Texas Stops for No Storm has been the response since the devastating hurricane of 1900. Through Hurricane Ike in 2008, UTMB was also the first academic campus in the nation to have an operational level four biocontainment lab the Galveston National Laboratory, and is now a world leader in the fight against infectious diseases and bioterrorism. UT MD Anderson Cancer Center helped make the concept of cancer survivor possible. For more than 75 years, MD Anderson has been regarded as one of the world's best centers dedicated to cancer patient care, research, education, and prevention. Since U.S. News and World Report began its Best Hospitals survey back in 1990, MD Anderson has been ranked every year as one of the nation's top two hospitals for cancer care. In addition to being a world-renowned healthcare and research center, it's also a degree-granting academic institution. Seeing the state-of-the-art campus now, it's hard to believe that UT Southwestern got its start in plywood shacks located behind Parkland Hospital in Dallas. The small medical college that opened during World War II is now a comprehensive academic medical center that has earned national recognition for its research and treatment of stroke, heart, and brain diseases. And U.S. News and World Report recently ranked UT Southwestern among the top 10 medical schools for primary care. Established in 1972, the UT Health Science Center at Houston is now the state's most comprehensive academic health center and home to the sixth largest medical school in the U.S. Combined with its dental and nursing schools, UT Health Houston leads the state in the number of healthcare graduates. Houston's Health University has earned a reputation as an innovative academic leader while providing an expanded network of care to the region it serves. When San Antonio's medical school opened its doors in 1968, there were 33 students. Today, UT Health San Antonio's School of Medicine, recently renamed to honor Joe and Teresa Lozano Long, has become one of the top schools in the nation for graduating Hispanic healthcare providers. Its MD-PhD program is ranked best among Texas programs by ratio of students with National Institutes of Health F30 awards. It's also among the top three schools in Texas to receive National Institute on Aging research funding and is a leader in the fight against Alzheimer's and dementia. The site of UT Health Northeast in Tyler was once a World War II training base and prisoner of war camp. After the war, the wood barracks were used to house patients in what became the East Texas Tuberculosis Sanatorium. The facilities and mission evolved becoming the UT Health Center at Tyler in 1977. Today, UT Health Northeast consistently ranks among the top hospitals in the nation for pulmonary care, even as it expands capacity by partnering with MD Anderson in cancer care.
and in developing new mental health programs to address community needs. UT institutions continue to be at the front lines, battling the leading causes of death in Texas. The new medical schools in Austin and Rio Grande Valley are changing how healthcare professionals learn and interact with patients. Technology is allowing researchers to connect around the world and providing underserved communities with access to healthcare providers. I've visited now uh, probably about 115 or so of the 143 medical schools in the United States. I have never seen a medical school with more broad-based support from its community. We are taking quantum leaps forward, leveraging our size and expertise to develop a collaborative healthcare enterprise that connects our institutions in ways that take full advantage of the phenomenal talent and expertise that exists within the UT system. Our institutions will share clinical information, service lines, clinical trials, and telehealth to provide the finest healthcare in the world. We are also leaping forward with a brain health revolution to understand, prevent, treat, and cure diseases of the brain. We are maximizing and connecting all the cutting-edge science going on at UT institutions to create partnerships that will one day end the suffering caused by neurological illnesses and mental disorders. While our history in healthcare is a long and proud one, the future is even more promising. As it always has, the University of Texas system is taking the lead to improve the health and well-being of generations of Texans to come.